get to work. Coconut oil soap is hard, cleans awesome, and makes a great lather. I guess you could say I'm in love with the cocoa. Soap should be simple and made of two ingredients, lye, also called sodium hydroxide, and fat or oil. When the lye mixes with the oil, it reacts to make a cat. Science, bitch. If making soap is something that you want to do, I recommend hitting up a secondhand store or digging deep in your cupboards. I've dedicated my stuff exclusively to soap making. This way I don't have to spend as much time cleaning. Wait a second, why the f am I cleaning soap? You need oil, lye, a bowl, a hand mixer, a scale, some containers, a spatula, and of course a soap mold. This is one that I made and I just modified it for half batches so I can test more recipes. I also love that I can split a batch into two and do head-to-head -head comparisons. You can use anything that has a non-stick surface or anything that you can line. Just let your imagination run wild. Once saponified, yeah, that's a real word, coconut oil is extremely cleansing. It's gonna give you that squeaky clean, but for some, it could be a bit drying. This is where super fat comes in, and you know I'm not talking about this gut. Super fat is when there are extra oils after the lye has reacted with the coconut oil. The extra coconut oil will surely keep your meat sack hydrated. This is the recipe that I use. You can scale it up or down as you like. 500 grams of coconut oil, 136 grams of water, and 69 grams of lye. This gives you about 25% super fat. Weigh out your lye, weigh out your water. And when working with lye, remember that when mixed with water, it creates nasty fumes, so I mix it outside or somewhere with a vent. Always add lye to water or instant death will happen. And it's best to let it sit because it gets fucking hot. So while this is sitting outside, weigh out your oil, like my video, subscribe to my channel. You don't have to, but it actually means a lot to me. It's what keeps me going in these trying times. The struggle is real. Since coconut oil is solid around room temp, you'll need to melt it. You can get all hoity-toity with a double boiler, but for simple folk like me, I just nuke it. More or less melted. Now pour your lye mixture into the oil. This is where the hand blender comes in to mix it all together. The idea is to mix it until it starts to thicken, referred to as trace. Depending on your recipe, it could take a long time to get here. So you don't have to crank your hand blender full blast for half an hour like I'm doing. You can let it sit for a few minutes and come back to it. This is where you'd add color or scent. Insert joke here. Oh, shit, I forgot to write that one. Ah, you can see now it's starting to thicken up. This is what we're looking for. At this point, it's ready to pour into your mold and let it sit. Your soap should be hard enough to take out of your mold the next day. You can style on the top. I'm not gonna lie, I use the toothpick here. Now just take out your cheese cutter, I mean uh, soap cutter and start slicing. I couldn't capture it, but I'm obsessed with the sound soap makes when cutting. It's kind of like a wet and sticky sound. You gotta try it. Ah yes, the cunning glamour shots. Bright white, rock hard, excellent lather, squeaky clean, yup, that's soap.